Hello, today I would like to show you this tense muscle stimulator. This is quite interesting device that you attach by electrodes to your body. And this unit is creating high voltage spikes. You can use this to relieve your pain or to stimulate your muscles, like if you are after some kind of accidents. This is how the device looks like. So we've got a bunch of electrodes that you are going to attach to your body. You've got uh, wires to connect them together. You've got a tape to, to put the electrodes in place and prevent from moving. We also have got uh, some sort of gel. The idea is that it's going to make sure that we are making a good electrical contact because if we do not have, then the high voltage will pass only through the places that have got a good contact and it can be painful. So if you've got a gel, it's going to make sure that the current is going to pass through the large surface area and it's not going to be painful. This is the unit itself. So we've got two channels. We've got the adjustment. We can see we've got the milliamp intensity and it can go as high as 75 milliamp. We've got the frequency and the same adjustment for the another channel. It's power from a nine volt battery. I found this unit interesting because of the user manual. And if you are interested, here is the user manual, but I'm only interested in one part of that. And it is a oscillogram that's going to show you what's going to be happening. And the idea for today is that I'm planning to hook up and I'm going to put an oscilloscope in parallel and we are going to see what's going to happen. So here is the user manual. And let's try to hook up the oscilloscope. Let me grab, we've got the red and blue. So we go in that direction. Red, red, blue. And I'm going to attach my ground clip to the blue one and the positive to the red. Let's go and set up the oscilloscope. The most important part is that we are going to be at the 10 times. I play with the oscilloscope and as you can see we've got something similar. Here it's being triggered, then it's slowly going down and it drop and fall below the zero and then go back. As you can see, the peak to peak voltage is 134 volts. This is a peak to peak. Here is the width of the pulse itself, 212 microseconds. And it looks pretty similar. So let's see what's going to happen when I'm going to make an adjustment. So here you can clearly see that the voltage is going up and now the peak to peak is going to be much higher. We've got a peak to peak 194 volts. On the frequency adjustment it is quite interesting 
because it does not change the width of the pulse. As you can see, the pulse is staying the same. We are just changing the frequency of the muscle relax or the frequency of recharging. So it's sending exactly the same pulse, even of the, on the lowest and the maximum setting. As you were able to see, we are pretty close to the user manual. They are stating it is for a one kilo ohm load. We are only loading this by my oscilloscope impedance, but we still pretty close. And this is how it looks like. If you would be ever curious how the pulses are shaped, then here is the answer. We've got a high voltage pulse for a very short of time. And we can adjust the frequency. So it's not like a PWM where you are changing the width of the pulse, the pulse staying constantly. We are just sending it more often. And you can adjust the peak to peak voltage and that's most likely going to affect the maximum current flowing. So this is how it looks like. I hope you find that interesting. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.